this summer horoscope reading. In today's readings, we are going to explore your spiritual gifts and talents, its highest intended purpose and use for this lifetime, for this life journey, the potential that it can expand into as well. Now we don't just have one gift or one talent, we have several. There are three different gift box before you to choose from. Decide which one resonates with you the most. That is calling you in to talk about your spiritual gifts and talents and give you more guidance and understanding as to what your purpose is on this life journey or how you're supposed to grow and nurture it. I will start with the first gift. There are timestamps listed below. Hello everyone. This reading is for everyone that has chosen the first reading with the red box. Let's see what are your gifts and talents. We have power of empathy. And you also have a second card, soul connection. Okay, we'll read the back of these cards at the uh, towards the end of the reading, not yet. First, I, I want to talk about it. <laughs> so the power of empathy. Now, you are an empath. For you, this is your gift. You're wondering, being an empath, can that really be a, a gift? For you, this is your gift. Spirit is saying, you are a whole different kind of empath because not only can you connect and feel someone's emotions you can take on their emotions as if it were your very own you can walk in their shoes and see through their eyes you can tap into their energy and become them i've never seen this I've never, I've never felt this in a reading before. You are a shape shifter. You read people's minds. Wow. Acting would be a great profession for you also here because you get it. You understand it. Also, you are a spiritual medium. And I'm speaking about the non-physical world here. You speak to the non-physical world. Some of you are aware of this and some of you aren't. Some of you uh, aren't aware of this gift and should take some mediumship classes. You're very connected with your heart chakra. Your heart chakra plays a big role in your spiritual gift this lifetime. So you definitely feel everything. You are a lover. You are not a fighter. You don't like confrontation. You're the one that tries to break up tense situations or arguments. You try to be very fair. You are very heart-centered, heart-based person. Spirit is acknowledging that for you because of your sensitivity in the heart space you feel other people's emotions when someone is mean to you and say mean things to you you feel it deeper you also feel other people's pain also happiness and love when you love you love deep Okay, so let's, uh, let's pull some, should we pull some tarot? Let's pull some psychic tarot. And let's feel the energy of everyone who has chosen. 
the first gift box, the red gift box. Which I should have just left here on the side. Alrighty, so let's feel the energy of everyone that has chosen the first red gift box. Okay. Recognition and reward number three. You're going to get a lot of recognition and reward for this if you tap in and pay attention and really look into this gift. Number 14, patience. Sorry about that glare. Number one, love begins. Memories of love, number six. Now it's a time of recognition for a completed project, something you're gonna do in, in mediumship. You're going to work hard at this. You have the skill and expertise to do this. Now, these abilities will be honored, but don't forget to give yourself some credit here. Pat yourself on the back because you deserve it. You really put in the time and energy and money into tapping into these abilities and bringing them to the surface. I can see that family or group of people will be coming together. Now, they're all aiming and striving towards a common goal here. So accept any help and guidance that is being offered along your journey. More possibilities are in the works, so be sure to lay a solid foundation from your past achievements. This will, this will help you be ready for any opportunities coming your way. Just make sure to take care of your physical body and change your, your eating habits. After all, your body is what carries you around this world. You can also be a Libra with the number three. Okay, with the patience card, there is a need for patience and self-control. Adjust with moderation and balance when dealing with others, as well as yourself here. Now, this could be in the areas of how you think and work and how you handle the people in your life. In order for this gift to emerge, you have to be patient with yourself, be aligned and balanced. Now, with your soul connection, you have more than one aspect of yourself here. It's all about integration and learning to blend and balance both the physical and spiritual world here for you. Combine these aspects of who you are. See what the other side of the world has to offer you. You need to open your heart and your mind more and allow yourself to listen. Renew the faith within yourself you will become more aware of the miracles around you as well as the ones that you have a hand in creating. So be patient with yourself. This love begins, number one, means that you're about to overflow with joy, happiness, and positive feelings here. You're going to uplift your vibration here on a line for this gift to come into alignment with you. For some of you, this also means a new love is coming into your life. Also, with the rainbow here, also means that there's abundance coming your way. 
with this rainbow. So it's not, it's a new beginning into abundance. You're bringing in abundance. You're manifesting this, this gift here. You're going to make it work for you. The rainbow is always like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, you know. Now, this doesn't have to be a physical love for some of you. It can also represent the passion and devotion that you have to opening your gifts and talents. An idea, a goal, or even a new creative endeavor. This would be a perfect time to open yourself and your heart to a higher vibration, a loving energy of the universe here right now. You're tapping into this love, this love that is within you here. This love is within you. You are a powerful empath again. Now, for some of you, there is an old friend or an acquaintance from your past that may step back into your life that's going to bring these memories of love. For some of you, these are like innocent childhood memories encouraging you. Like, remember when I was a kid and I used to see spirits. Or remember, I remember when I was a kid, these out of body experience would happen. Or I had a visitation when I was a child. Or I would have these premonition dreams. These, this recall of past memories with an old friend are going to come up. And with the six in Memories of Love, this means support, dedication, unity, and a need for balance in the areas of emotions and love. Your heart and soul are asking you not to dwell in the past anymore, but to use the inspiration and joy from that time to assist you in the here and now. Okay. So you're going to get recognized for this. Just be patient. Everything happens in divine timing. And find the love within yourself for this patience. Tap into the love. That's going to make this empathic side of you even more sensitive to your gifts and talents. And you're going to have these memories of, I was always this way. You're going to have these memories of, I always had this gift, but you kind of suppressed it. So now you're bringing it back to the surface here. You always had this connection. Do we have, let's see if we have any more information for my first gift viewers with some like purpose cards. And one and four is five, that's change. You're gonna change, you're gonna evolve, you're gonna transform. Are new beginnings. It's a new beginning for you. Oracle cards. You are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. A lot of people start with oracle cards. That helps nurture your spiritual talents, whatever they may be. Oracle cards is definitely a good start. That's how I started and I never stopped. <laughs> and some of you love working with Oracle cards. Some of you love getting readings. And I have three readers 
oracle and tarot readers that I watch on a regular basis. I love it. That's what got me started. Now this is validation for some of you already have started incorporating oracle card readings or tarot readings into your own personal life or career. And I give my own self, myself, my own readings. And maybe, so maybe you should give readings full time as an occupation here and try it. Try your own channel on YouTube where you can offer guidance and advice to others. Let's get another life purpose card here. Okay. Strength. Everyone you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. Everyone. Everyone have supported you in some way or form or fashion. And you're stronger than you realize. According to this card, you're stronger than you realize here. You have that inner courage. And you've built this inner courage from, from your life lessons. Everything you've ever experienced has brought you to this moment. And you're more prepared than ever to start a new project, to start a new direction, to start a new soul connection. So open up your gifts and talents. Now it's a human nature to shy away from, from, from any new spiritual gifts or any soul connections or talents that you haven't tapped into. It's, it's normal to shy away from it. You may perceive it to be difficult or that it may bring up some fears in you, fears of the unknown, fears of failure. But it's calling you. It's calling your name here. All of your names. Whether you're guided to write a book or just change from your 3D career. Or whether it's going back to school or mediumship. Whether it's starting your own business or represent yourself through your artwork to the public. Believe me, you have the power and the strength to do it. So get started. Which path do you think will lead you to greater joy right now with everything going on in the world? Take the steps in the direction of your dreams here. Let's get one more card for my first gift box viewers. Yoga. Your life is enhanced by yoga, strengthening and exercising. Yoga and meditation here will help you with the patience. Now to get the clear answers and guidance that you need, turn to yoga. This will increase your confidence and intuition. These are two factors that will help you with your life purpose. So enroll in a yoga class, try it out and start doing it on your own. You can also teach others to do yoga. You may be guided to teach this as a discipline for a specialized group, pregnant women, even the elderly. You can, eat, you can teach others how to use 
yoga and meditation as a combination towards healing. The angels will give you a sign and intuitive feelings to point you in the direction of this gift and talent. Yeah. Okay, so now it is time for us to read your gift and talent card. So, power of empathy. Let's see. Being a good medium requires, see, I was telling you in the beginning, you're a medium. I didn't even see the back of the card. You, you are a medium. Being a good medium requires a strong sense of empathy, which comes from your ability to sense and feel the emotions of a spirit as well as those here in the living. Being empathic enables you to deliver heart-centered messages from spirit. Every medium is equipped with a naturally heightened sense of empathic awareness. It can be an overwhelming feeling and if it's a left ungrounded, it can result in being overly tired, emotional, or even anxious. Grounded empathic mediums allow their emotional heart-centered awareness to be just a tool for guiding the session between themselves, the sitter, and the spirit. Being an empath means you feel other people's emotions as your own, but this unique ability also enables you to be aware of another's energy for thoughts, feelings, events, and much more. An easy technique for empathic grounding is to amplify the awareness of your auric energy so you can expand it from your body to form a protective field. If you're feeling overextended empathically, use deep breathing techniques to slow down your vibrational energy to reground yourself. Other ways to practice healthy empathic awareness is to practice meditation, yoga, and other energy healing modalities. Yoga. Try to keep your overall spiritual energy grounded as this will also assist with being empathically healthy. Everyone is entitled to their emotions, so remind your inner empath of this. It's so important to allow some space for yourself without taking in everyone's feelings. Okay, and let's read the soul connection. Soul connection. The same energy that makes up the stars in the sky, which is the same energy that's coursing through the universe, is in each and every one of us. We're all made of the same energy. And as souls, we are always connected to everything and each other. It's not always easy to see others or ourselves as a soul or a spiritual being. We're often too caught up living in the physical world and forget our very own divine nature. This card encourages you to appreciate and see people on a soul level. This will help you express the love through your heart and experience interactions with others as a soul. It may be somewhat hard at times, especially when meeting difficult people, but what you're doing is trying to make a soul-to-soul -soul connection. Try to relate to them from a divine perspective instead of responding purely by what your eyes see or your ears hear. By doing so, you will see the real person and appreciate the good that's inside each one of us. Occasionally, that divinity, that goodness that you know is there may be buried deep due to past hurts, protective layers, or life conditioning. See others as a soul first will help you to open up your heart so you have a better connection with people here. So in doing so, your compassion will significantly enhance your spiritual connections to those in the spiritual world. 
This is you, my first gift viewers. Alrighty. Let's get one more message for my first gift viewers with the motivation manifesto cards. <laughs> oh my gosh. With the motivation manifesto cards. Yes. Okay. Okay. This one jumped out. Freedom and victory belongs to those who remain strong and true despite temptation. There's that strength card. So you're going to have the strength, the freedom, the victory to move forward with this. So remain strong, remain true to yourself, be patient. You will be recognized for all of this here. That is what I have for my first gift viewers. If it resonates, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Stay safe, take care of yourself, and until next time, bye. <laughs>Okay, what I'm picking up here is your ability is connected to your crown chakra. Your spiritual gifts don't always have to be attached to the crown now. But in your case, your crown chakra is wide open. You have a very strong cosmic connection. You channel a lot of information from the higher realms. You are a channeler. Don't discount all the information that comes to you, like spiritual concepts and ideas, creative ideas, and sometimes you feel like you're on information overload. So when you're feeling really lost, you need guidance, grounding, and do some meditation to open up that crown chakra some more. Now, where things may have seemed challenging, like setbacks, there's a purpose to this. It's the things that irritate you, that activate you here, and awaken you, and expand you. Some of the irritants are like pushing you on a new path or focusing you into new ideas. So don't think that you're doing it wrong or it's something wrong with your vibration because of a certain irritance that you're in, in your experience. This irritance is not there as a punishment or as bad karma or anything like that. They're there to help activate and expand you and awaken you further and shifting your perception. And it's allowing you to see this irritants in your life in a whole new light. You have been coming into your gifts and talents this whole time and you will reap its rewards. In a past life, You've perfected these gifts and talents and abilities here. For my viewers who have chosen a second reading with the golden gift box, I will be using some psychic tarot. Let's feel the energy. Okay, so far, oh, we got three, the exact amount that I needed, or four. First card, prosperity begins, number one. That's new beginnings here. Next card, number three, rejoice and celebration. Gonna have a lot to celebrate about. Next card, number 20, truth. You're going to be speaking your truth. Number four, discontent and boredom. 
Okay. Now, with this number one, that's new beginnings. So now is the time to take that leap of faith. So be ready to embrace the unknown here. Leave behind the worry, the fear, the anxiety, and take that leap of faith. Even if you don't feel 100% ready, do it. You must step into the unknown and trust that the universe has your back here. This is a time of great potential and opportunities for you. Your prosperity begins. If you're waiting for a sign, this is it. This reading is it. I see a lot of wealth and a new business. And this can be in the palm of your hands. Now, this may result from hard work or past efforts and investments. Or it could show up unexpectedly for some of you. It may even present itself as a spiritual gift or talent. Do some careful planning. You've done some recent activity with money-making ideas that showed great possibilities and investments. This is a time to just focus on the most beneficial outcome for you and use this towards your spiritual gifts and talents. Expect the best and envision this spiritual gift coming to the forefront. Envision this talent of yours having a successful result. Feel it, see it, and most important, believe it. Trust, have faith. Offer gratitude, focus on abundance and the positive aspects, and offer gratitude. Prosperity in all forms will flow even more freely towards you. Now, so success and victory is coming your way. You're doing what you love the most. And you're pursuing your passion, your gifts and talents. You're flowing with your heart and intuition. There's no limits to what you can achieve here. You're, you're excited and your present state is love. You can feel it moving throughout you, wow. You know, somehow love has a way of showing you that you're connected to something much larger than yourself here. And the number three symbolize unity and a time to rejoice in gratitude and sharing, whether it's with family members or friends. This is a moment of fruition for all of your dedicated work. So pat yourself on the back and have a party and dance and celebrate your accomplishments. Now, with number 20, the truth card here, you've gone through an awakening that has brought you a lot of clarity here of speaking your truth. Sometimes it takes a wake up call to get our attention and show how far you need to go. That's why this card is showing up for you. It's an evaluation of your past along with the lessons that you've learned. Now, the evaluation of the past along with the lessons that you have learned must be top priority here. Doing so will enable you to forgive and accept and heal so you can move forward in a balanced spiritual mindset. Now, this also can mean that you have an angelic voice. You have a soothing voice. You have a comforting voice, a voice that heals, a wise voice. You speak the truth. You speak about your experiences. You give advice, good advice. Your words are wise. And you can also be a public speaker speaking this, a mentor. Now this can man manifest in many different ways. Let me take some water here.
Now, when you don't actively speak your truth, this throat chakra of yours gets out of balance and you become confused. And when there's a lot of chaos in your life, you can find that it's very, very hard to articulate or properly express yourself. You get nervous. You have a lot of spiritual sensitivity connected to your throat chakra. Spirit wants you to know that. So your gift is not only a gift that possesses spirituality, but it's a gift that spirit wants you to be aware of, but is a big part of, of your life journey. This is not the only gift that you possess spiritually, but this is the gift that spirit wants you to be aware of. And this is going to be a big part of your life journey. You have a strong power in prayer. You have power in manifestation. You have power in your thoughts and, and emotions create your reality, right? But for you guys, your words, what you speak into reality is just as powerful, if not more so. And you don't get this type of energy unless you've lived many lifetimes in service of spirit with a lot of sacrifice. You are somebody that makes magic. Your words hold a lot of strength and power. Use this properly always 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 i definitely feel that you should be on a platform of some kind speaking your spiritual truth whether it's a strong religious belief the law of attraction energy the power of prayer healing whatever it is you deserve to be on a platform now right now you're a little bit uh disconnected and bored wondering all all this stuff is like in in your head you you haven't tapped in you haven't made a move on any of this yet now you may be feeling stagnation or disconnected and bored right now you may feel restless and in, impatient things aren't moving as fast as you want them to you're wondering if it's gonna even happen at all and this kind of thought is, is just draining you emotionally and energetically. You're like, you know, is this ever going to happen? Are my dreams and desires ever going to come to fruition? You may have uh, spoken it into truth, set the intentions, meditated on it, um, even made attempts to start, but nothing like what you've envisioned has happened yet. You feel disconnected and bored. Uh, you, you're longing for a change to happen. Even though one door may have uh, closed in your past, don't focus all your energy on it. You know, opportunities will be knocking on your door. A window or another door will quickly open. And if your attention and awareness isn't focused, you could easily miss it. So watch for synchronistic events that bring books and speakers and workshops and new people, like-minded people into your life. Now, many of these could possibly hold a message for you or a path or direction. So be aware here, have faith. Have faith in divine timing and know that everything changes for a reason here. There's things happening behind the scenes for you. Now, this is a perfect time for you to reevaluate and go within, search within your heart and soul for new ideas, fresh insights. I remember when I started this, I was like, oh, how am I going to start? I was getting so frustrated. And I'm like, you know, I'm an artist too, you know, let me just set it up and use my artistic ability here and add my own touch to it.
you know so don't get frustrated things always come to light when you take the time out to go within and search your other talents your other gifts and abilities sometimes you can put them together like a combination you know and um make them work for you okay so what else do we have let's um let's um pick some more cards here for my viewers who pick the second reading with the golden box and let's pull from life purpose oracle deck Ready. Let's get some more cards. After feeling my viewers' energy, we'll pick the golden box. Let's get some more guidance from them. Let's see what else do they need to know about their spiritual gifts and talents. books you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books next card artist engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life you have an artist's ability within you. That also can mean interior design. It could be artists, a music artist, all kind of levels uh, artists can be. Let's get another card. Sensitivity. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. Now, with the book card, some of you may want to write a book about your past life experiences um, along with speaking as a motivational speaker. You have a book within you that you also want to write and present uh, to the world. And also, there are tons of books that have information on different uh, abilities on on psychic awareness mediumship or so tap into what abilities spiritual abilities um, you may have that you want to look into through books now you will be able to find something interesting there's a wide variety of these books that can help you motivate you, open your mind, explain things, give you more clarity. And the angels will help you write that book if you're drawn to writing your own book about your past, your history, your experiences, your awakening. A lot of people are doing that here lately. They're writing about their experiences, what pushed them into their awakening or, or how they experienced their awakening journey. Even if the topic may seem unrelated to your past, trust that there's valuable information. You're being led along the path of your divine life purpose. Now, I always say there's an artist in all of us in some fashion, way, or another. There's an artist in all of us. And it's so funny, the wonder of colors. Artists use a lot of colors. And in this picture here, the artist is holding a slew of colors to start with. We're going to read that towards the end. There's a message behind it for you. Now, 
you're going to have a colorful career, that's for sure. You naturally gravitate towards beautiful shades and shapes and colors. And you can well bring this into a career field, spiritual or not. Now, you're going to feel more fulfilled with work that helps you express your inner artist, the talent, this inner talent that you have wants to emerge. And you're a sensitive person. You're very sensitive. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly here, it says. Because you're being too harsh on yourself and you're a sensitive soul. It's time to face that fact that you do beat up yourself a bit. You do, okay? You're bored, you feel disconnected at times, and you go back and forth with this. Sometimes it's possible to heal yourself. Don't look towards anyone else to heal you. Heal yourself. Don't expect somebody to give you the feeling and emotion that you have within you to change. Okay, inspire others through your own shift and optimistic and high vibrational disposition. You ever walk into a room of people you never seen before and just smile and watch their faces light up and you don't even know them? That's what I'm talking about. Once you change, your disposition, you can heal yourself. And this is possible. Your interest and taste have shifted. And this has shifted recently. What once interests you no longer seems to appeal to you. Who you used to be is no longer who you are now. You're, you're very sensitive to energies of people people you spend time with, and the places that you frequently go to. What you need here, what, I, what I, I'm, 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 I'm picking up here is what you need is a gentle work environment with supportive coworkers and a cooperative way of conducting business. You also need a career you feel good about, which has meaning in your life. So let's read your cards, the invisible shield. This is your card. Have you ever experienced the feeling, the presence of a loved one who has passed or had a thought of them suddenly come into your mind, even though they're in the spiritual realm? Their spirit body has an aura which lovingly reaches out to yours. Every living thing has an aura, whether here in the physical world or on the other side. It's the energy field that surrounds all matter, whether you're developing physically or mentally, whether you're developing psychically or mediumistically. Learning about the aura is an important part of the training both psychic and mediumistic emanations are received and transmitted through the aura, which in turn can access the specific chakras that are associated with your clear sentience, clairvoyance, or clear audience. You can learn to expand your aura for all manner of reasons. Whether you're about to do a psychic reading, you're going to a concert and, f and want to feel and experience the richness of the music, or even if you're outdoors and just want to heighten the whole experience with nature, as we're all made up of energy, you can blend your aura with another person's a plants, your trusted pets, or of course, a spirit's aura. Make sure you pull back your auric 
feel when you're done working as it will make you less sensitive and enable your aura to revitalize. Learning everything about the aura will not only make you a stronger medium, but also a healthier one. So blending with spirit, the invisible shield, wow, powerful. Let's see, what else do I have for you? With your gifts and talents here, the wonder of colors. We are talking about that. Everything is made up of energy. Oh, wow, you can see the colors of people auras. I get it, I get it now. Wow, wow, wow. Everything is made up of energy, which constantly moves and vibrates. Even colors vibrate to their own frequency. Treat the world around you as your own personal art school. As you begin to learn and practice how to bring color awareness into your life and spirit. Wow, and we have artists here. Okay. And spirit. Colors can be a wonderful tool as you develop and evolve your psychic and mediumship abilities. The seven primary colors are the same colors as those of the chakra system. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Colors are not only beautiful to look at, but they can help you with your clairvoyance aura work and symbolism, as well as feed your creativity and imagination. Therefore, the colors of a spirit's aura can help you identify aspects of their personality. Colors are everywhere. Breathe in the wonder of nature's colors that can be found in its forests, meadows, flowers, and mountains, as well as the sky. Let the rich spectrum of color fill your spirit as it infuses and energizes your aura. Every medium and psychic uses the imaginative right side of the brain to achieve an altered state. This is a place where true spirit communication takes place. During the week, notice all the different hues that surround you or focus on one new color each day. Be aware how many times your choice of color appears through one day. Once you understand and educate yourself about colors, you will never look at them the same again. The wonder of colors. Wow, great gift here. Great spiritual gift and talent. <laughs> Let's get one more message for my viewers that chose the second reading and the golden gift box with the manifestation manifesto cards. Let's get one more message. Let us awaken now and realize there is greater vibrancy, joy, and freedom available to each of us. So awaken and realize there is a greater joy and freedom that's available to, to you right now. So that is what I have for my viewers who have chosen the second reading with the golden box. If it resonates, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Stay safe, take care of yourself, and until next time, bye. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is for my viewers who have chosen the third reading with the red gift box with the silver ribbon and it's the only gift box that's a tin box. Let's see, 
what is your spiritual gifts and talents. Okay, we have Masters of Mediumship. We also have Evidence of Spirit. These two messages have a message behind them that we will check out towards the ending of your reading. In the meantime, I know you're like, how did she put those cards in here? <laughs> okay. Now I am going to feel the energy of my viewers. Okay, I'm going to be pulling from the Psychic Tarot deck. feel the energy for my viewers who have chosen the third reading. Hmm. Everybody got a jumper. We got number 15, Temptation. Second. Number two. Movement, choices, decisions. You may have been tempted a lot in your past. You may still be feeling tempted to do the things that you used to do in your past. But now movement is needed and choices and decisions have to be made. You have to make a choice here. It can't be both. It has to be one or the other. You have wisdom, number five. Five is change. You're going to do it. Nineteen, light. This is you. You will be stepping into the light, into the new you. Wow. Your reading's are ready. Wow. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps, and I'm literally... Um, vibrating here with your reading. <laughs> Number three always does this to me. I don't know what it is. Okay. Maybe because of all of the readings uh, leading up to this. I don't know what it is. But anyway, here we go. Now, you've been tempted in the past. It's something, some habit, some, some almost addiction that was in your past. It could be anything anything food it could be you know pills it could be anything okay cigarettes alcohol it could be anything anything um a way of doing things a way of thinking it could be that too limiting beliefs needs to be addressed here as well now this is a time when you or maybe someone else in your life may be placing too much on the material things in life you know I have a few family members like that too uh, if you're not living up to their standards then you're not living and they put you down for it now we are all born connected to source right divine source and we have a tendency not to listen and pull away from what we naturally know is right it's often replaced with a a, a substitute right and in, uh, in, in other words like i was saying food alcohol cigarettes a codependency to someone or some way of thinking right or even work. It could be a workaholic, okay? Many of us spend our lives just trying to fill any void that we create within ourselves when our connection to source feels broken, right? So just take a hard look at your life, at yourself. Say, you know, where in your life am I suffering from an addictive behavior? Is it a negative thinking or behavior that's causing my light to seep out of my soul? Are the people in your life or your relationships giving you energy or draining you? 
So right now, just embrace your fears and all of your doubts so that every situation in your life becomes a learning experience. Look at it like a learning experience. Don't feel life is doing something to you. Always look at life as you're learning something from it. It's working for you. Now, gaining the knowledge that this world, this world, this physical world, teaches will help you transcend to a higher spiritual awareness so don't fall into temptation and it always happens when we need to make a movement in life a, a choice a divine spiritual decision to step into our spiritual gifts and talents. Now this can be an aspect of you that has gone way back that you always know that you had within you. And you're deciding, you're coming to this decision that this is the road I want to take, but you're looking back. But I see that you will move forward. And with that number five, you are going to make that change. Now, there's a spiritual teacher within you, or for some of you, will step into your life and share their wisdom. You have the education, the knowledge, and ability to integrate spirituality in your life. You are a passionate person who offers guidance and inspiration to others already. And you know you are much, much more than your thoughts your actions and physical being. You're also a spiritual being with an unlimited potential here. Now, some of you, it's time to reach out and find an organization or group of like-minded souls to work with. Some of you already done that. Within this group, you will be yourself and share your thoughts and gain valuable information that you can infuse and encourage you to be all you can be. You will live a life of your highest potential. You will find the true inspiration and enlightenment that is part of your soul. And over time, you being this inspirational teacher, the spiritual teacher will inspire others to do the same. Now you have so much to share whether you realize it or not here you have so much to share with this light that you possess here and in both cards you can see the light here's that light and here's the light again There's that light in both cards. So it's time to be in your light. So shine your light. It's time to be in your light. No matter what is happening around you. A lot of pleasure, a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment, growth, success, joy, and illumination. Like I was saying with that light. This light that you have will always bring a new birth of a constant renewal of life. This is a positive outcome here. This is your moment to shine and you're going to be well known. You're going to be seen with this light. People will be attracted to your light, your rays of spiritual light. And by being compassionate, generous, inspiring, and a leader, many will benefit from your advice and bringing clarity and understanding. Your light is going to reach far and wide. Using the energy of positive thoughts and continually thinking about the happiest and joyful of memories and be forgiving of your past will light the path before you even brighter for you to see and attract exactly what you are giving off 
emanating. So keep on shining here. Keep on shining your light. Don't dim it. Don't dim it for others. Don't dim it because you're not living up to other people's standards or you don't have certain things that, you know, do not dim your light. Not for others and don't dim your light for yourself. Start doing um, positive affirmations and positive self-talk, especially during meditation. Give yourself positive self-talk. You will feel your body respond to this. It's okay. I love you. Say these words. It's okay. I'm here for you. I will never abandon you. I love you. Say these words during your meditation. Okay, let's get some more messages concerning your spiritual gifts and talents. going to be pulling from life purpose oracle cards let's get another message for my viewers who have chosen the third reading with the tin red gift box with the silver bow Whoa, we have a jumper already justice your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help Okay, let's get another one. Animals. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. Music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. Wow, you have a lot of gifts and talents here, huh? A lot of choices. Okay, so you're coming into some justice here. Uh, maybe some justice from your past here. You will be getting what you deserve. Just to put it out there for you for anyone that's uh, in the middle of any court case or has a court or an ending of their past happening for some of you your spiritual gift is protecting others from unfairness you've gone through this and you want to be there for others you want to give them some some kind of support here now you find a lot of satisfaction in this kind of career and um you do do a lot of meditation you may practice law or political science some kind of city planning security or something like that you can tell when someone's not telling the truth and you may blend your spiritual aspects into your career like healing you have a healing way about you when connecting with others that have gone through conflict. You're a natural leader and others look for you for direction and support and guidance. You should continue to trust your heart here. You are looking to make a movement, a, a change, a choice. You have choices to make, decisions to make with this card here. Believe and trust that heaven knows where you're most needed and will help you with divine guidance and assignments that can put your skills into the highest and best use. Some of you work with animals. You love them and they love you. You understand and appreciate their kind and gentle hearts. And you stand up for uh, the rights of animals. You support them. And you feel and hear their communications as well. Some of you feel a calling to support animals and pets. Adoptive, adoptive pets. 
So trust your intuitive insights and your inner guidance about ways to connect with animals. Any career that you get involved in will benefit from your adding animals into the mix. Some of you may find yourself doing volunteer or charity work on behalf of animals including rescuing them at shelters or bringing awareness to their rights. You're very sensitive when it comes to animals and you probably have one or two yourself or three. <laughs> now you also have a keen animal communication abilities here. You have keen animal communication abilities. This is one of your, your gifts, your spiritual gifts music they say music opens your soul to receiving divine guidance so that you confidently walk upon the path of your life purpose so play whatever draws your attention uplifts your spirits and raises your vibration so notice how long the song takes to affect your mood and your body and your energy level. Take note of that. See how long it takes. Now you have a personal connection with music. That's why this card is here. It's healing. You know about music's healing purposes. Some of you know how to play an instrument. Some of you write songs. Some of you, your voice is healing towards others when you sing. You incorporate healing also with your voice as a healing technique. And if anyone needs help with music or bringing music into their life and want to make this their, their income or foundation or use it as a spiritual gift and talent, call on Archangel Sandalfin. He will help heal through music. So call on Archangel Sandalfin with this affirmation. Thank you for bringing music to and through me. Thank you for bringing this music, these lyrics through my throat chakra and through me to heal others. And you'll receive messages that deepen your healing connection with music. So look into that one. That's a good one there. Let's look at your messages we have from the beginning. Masters of mediumship. Some of you are taking mediumship classes or thinking about taking mediumship classes. I suggest you do so. It says, many pioneers, school scholars, and tutors in the field of mediumship and psychic scientists have paved the way for aspiring mediums. Much can be learned from mediums from bygone years to assist you with the unfoldment of your spiritual abilities and develop them safely and wisely. You can gain many insights from the invaluable wisdom and knowledge from those mediums that have dedicated their lives to serving spirit. You can learn different styles and faucets of mediumship but more importantly, you can understand how they lived and handled their everyday physical lives while using their gifts, talents, and abilities to help others. Experienced mediums and teachers will help you gain inspiration and guidance. Be discerning and choose those who resonate with you the most, the ones you consider to be authentic and who treat the work with the highest regard. Don't emulate them, just learn from them. Be yourself and ask spirit. Please help me to work the way you want me to work and not the way I want to work. <laughs> I've said that so many times. 
<laughs> by doing so, you're opening yourself to new ways of learning as well as new experiences and you'll become a wiser medium. Definitely. So definitely look into that. We are all mediums is to tap into that aspect of you okay evidence of spirit now you're already getting evidence of you communicating with spirits spirits around you you're feeling sensing already so here's evidence <laughs> it's funny here's evidence and it's this reading this reading is evidence okay the process of validation is an essential part of authenticating the identity of a spirit when creating the link, helping to confirm the continuity of life. Unless a medium can validate and connect with evidence, it's unlikely to be considered authentic mediumship. A medium working with absolute integrity will only ever stand the test of time by the quality of their evidence. When a spirit proves evidence that's totally supported by true life facts, the healing connection with the loved one is one of the most powerful occurrences to witness. Evidence is received through the spiritual senses. A spirit will create a strong link to support the relationship to the sitter and offer evidence such as physical features, names, jobs, family connections, and special memories. There's nothing that cannot be accessed. When connecting, use all your senses and tell the sitter what you've seen. When connecting, use all your senses and tell the sitter what you're seeing, feeling, and hearing that's being given to you by the departed loved one. It's okay to be a little proactive and ask the spirit some questions, such as, what's your relationship to the sitter? What do you do for work? How many children do you have? Do you have any defying physical features? You can even ask for the spirit's first name. Never censor what you're receiving with your own interpretations. And don't be afraid to share what seems to be the most unusual information. You may be quite surprised when your sitter confirms the evidence. Wow. So the sitter is the person that you're, you know, uh, reading for or sensing. Um, spirit for and giving info evidence of spirit for beautiful so you're already receiving your connection here it's a lot going on in this reading one more message from the motivation manifesto cards and one more message for my viewers who have chosen the third reading. Wow. Okay, I got a jumper here. You got three. 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 Okay, you got, a, you got some messages here. Now, I'm going to take all of them for you because you've had quite a reading. So, I'm going to take them all. There is no beauty in the world more perfect, more awe-inspiring, and more human and transfixing than unfiltered, unashamed love. So you're perfect just the way you are. Don't be ashamed of your past or any guilt or shame that you may feel that you've went through. Love yourself. Put love first. And when you do, that love is going to catapult you to where you want to be. 
Next message. The main motivation of humankind is to be free, to express your true selves and pursue your dreams without restriction, to experience what may be called personal freedom, and you're freeing yourself. You will free yourself and come into your light. Wow. All these messages were for you. Our greatest personal power is the ability to take over our impulses and direct our minds and choices and commitments that will serve us. Wow, that's that movement and choices and decisions that you're going to be making. Oh my God. Next message, last message, with love's transcendent power, we can be reborn and redirected. When we open to love, life itself can feel newer, more alive, more magical, and meaningful. So transcend that power. Be reborn and redirected. That's that temptation you're pulling away from. That's that love you're stepping into, that self-love. And that's when you're going to open to life itself. You're going to be new. You're going to be vibrant, full of life and love and light. This is a beautiful reading. So that is what I have for my viewers who have picked the third reading. If it resonates, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Stay safe, take care of yourself, and until next time, bye. <laughs>